Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we'll be continuing to build, debug, and analyze our remote control robot. Today we'll be looking at our robot's antennas to get the most amount of distance between our remote and the robot itself. We have a fixed power level being produced by our robot, so the next best way to improve our distance between the remote and the robot itself is by improving our antenna quality. We will be testing our antennas by performing a VisWare test and then confirming our results with a distance test. By performing a VisWare test, I will be able to calculate how well each antenna will be able to utilize its transmitted power. This will help us in selecting the best antenna for our robot. VisWare is calculated by comparing the difference in an antenna's reflection coefficient. Our spectrum analyzer performs this test with the assistance of a VisWare bridge, which allows the instrument to use the tracking generator as a known signal source to create an indicated power level, and then allows the instrument to measure the reflected power from the antenna. Then with this information, the spectrum analyzer can calculate the return loss, reflected coefficient, and then the VisWare for the antenna. Due to how VisWare is calculated, an ideal antenna will have a VisWare of 1, which would have an infinite return loss, 0% reflected power, and 0 dB in transmitted loss. This would allow for all transmitted power to be radiated out of the antenna. This makes an antenna with a VisWare as close to 1 as possible will have the most efficient use of the transmitted power. This robot is remotely controlled through a phone, tablet, or computer application via a Wi-Fi router that's hosted on the device itself. And we can actually see it's got two antenna port here, and then this is where the Wi-Fi router is on the robot. And then two antenna that we're going to be testing today are this larger set of antenna here, which will be our first set, and then the smaller set will be our second set of antenna. To perform our VisWare measurements, the first thing we want to do is set our frequency so that we're centered at the 2.4 gigahertz. We've already done that, indicated by a marker here, which is at the center of our span. Next that we want to do is once we're in the VisWare measurement and have our bridge connected to the front of the instrument, we want to reset our measurement and then set our reference value so that we're off, so we'll see that the full information being displayed. Next we want to perform a cal open, so the instrument's basically calibrated the bridge. Now with connecting our first set of antenna, the larger one, we can now see on the first antenna we're seeing a VisWare of 1.5 displayed in the bottom table of the, on the instrument. Next we're going to look at the next antenna in that set, which will be showing a little shy of 2, looking right around 1.9 for a VisWare measurement, which is just fine for an antenna. Next we're going to look at our two other antenna, Here's the first antenna on the second set. And we're going to see it's showing a VisWare right around 4, it looks like, and a little bit less, maybe 3.9. And the next antenna on the second set is showing a VisWare right around, it looks like, 11, 12. Based on our VisWare measurements, the first set of antenna should perform significantly better than the second set in terms of distance. We tested both sets of antennas on the robot to confirm that the first set of antennas will allow the robot to travel farther than the second set. With the combination of antenna tests like VisWare testing and real-world testing, we are able to determine the best set of antennas for our robot. 